Hello everybody, this is Dr. Taylor, and today we're going to learn how to recode variables into the same variable. So, we have these variables and we have these scales attached to the variables, and sometimes we don't have the scale correct. And so SPSS saves it wrong, and so for example here, we have extremely important as a one, very important as a two, moderately important as a three, slightly important as a four, and not at all important as a five. So if we were to take the mean of this variable, we would find that the higher the mean, the less important uh, the, the service is. And that's not, um, that's not the way we want our data to speak to us. We actually want our data to speak to us so that if it's a higher number, it is more positive, and if it's a lower number, it's more negative. So we need to change this and flip the scale. Now, we have two ways we can do this. We can either recode it into the same variable, or we can recode it into a different variable. Now, typically, we recode it into the same variable if it is just a, a change um, from extreme, uh, where we're, we're going to change it from a positive to a negative. Um, we typically recode it into a new variable if we're going to make changes to the scale. So maybe we're going to merge together one and two and three and four and keep five separate. That, then we would recode it into a different variable. But when it comes to just changing from a positive to a negative, we typically recode it into the same variable. So that's what we're gonna do here today. So there's a couple steps we wanna take. First, we want to analyze the data that we're going to um, be changing from a positive to a negative. Um, and we do this because we wanna make sure that we do it correctly. And so this is a way that we could test to see if we did it correctly. Um, we just want the frequencies, so we don't need anything else. And I'm just going to click on it. And what this tells us is that extremely important tends to be on the high side, slightly important um, on the low side. And we want these numbers to match after we make the change. So we've gone through these. We've saved how they were originally. Let's go make the change. And then we'll double check to make sure that we did it correctly. So how do we change this data? We're going to go to transform. Then you're going to click on recode into the same variable. And we have several questions that are the same and use the same scale. So I am going to add them all in at once. And you add it all in at once. I'll go through that again. You click the top one, you scroll down to the bottom one, and you shift, and then you hit click. You click, um, you right click, and then that'll highlight all of them. And then you just click that button and it will push everything over there. Now we want to click this old and new values. And so we have a value of one that is extremely important. We want this now to say five. We have two, we want it to say four. We have three, we want it to say three. Uh, so threes essentially stay the same, but we put it in there so that it um, so that we can make sure that we've done everything correctly. And then we want five to turn into a one. And so we have one to five, two to four, three to three, four to two, five to one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And we are good. We hit the continue button. We hit the OK button. <coughs> And look, it switched everything, but we can't really tell, right? So we don't, can't really tell that it's switched or not. So how do we know we've done it right? Well, again, this is going to go back to that analyzing the frequencies. We've got everything still in there. We're just going to hit OK. And, um, oh, wait. Sorry. Before we do that, we have one other step we need to take. And that is, we need to change these labels on the values. Uh, so this has to become a five. 
but we don't have space for a five because that five's taken. So not at all important is gonna change to a one. We'll change this to a five. Slightly important is gonna become a two. So very important is going to become a four, but we have that four there that we need to change to a two. Um, and then three will stay the same, so we just need to change this to a four. Okay, so one, not, a, not at all important, slightly important, moderately important, very important, extremely important. So all the labels are done correctly. Now, let's go back and analyze our frequencies. Okay. And so slightly important, moderately important, very important. It's we're skewing on the high side towards extremely important, which was the same as uh, earlier. And we can compare it to what we've done earlier. Everything's Hello everybody, this is Dr. Taylor, and today we're gonna to learn how to recode variables into the same variable. So why would you ever need to recode a variable into the same variable? Well, it's better to show with examples, so let's take a look at this. We have this question. It's called, how important to you are the following deaf and hard of hearing services? We have general information, referral services, interpreters, and it goes on down the list. Now, each one of those, the respondent answered in a five-point scale. Extremely important, very important, moderately important, slightly important, not at all important. And SPSS assigned a value of one, two, three, four, and five to correspond to the scale. Now, the issue is that when we go to take a mean or a, well, a mean, median, or a mode, uh, we're going to get low numbers for things that are extremely important and high numbers for things that are not at all important. And that's kind of counterintuitive. So what we really want to see is the positive have a higher value and the negative have a lower value. And that way when you report the means, it makes more sense and it's more intuitive. So we need to flip the scales on this. But before we can change the scales, we have um, a couple things we need to do. First, we need to put some stop gaps in place to make sure like, that we don't make mistakes. So the first thing we do is go to descriptive statistics, click on frequencies, and then um, we insert the questions. So I'll just go and click on that. I'll go all the way down to the bottom. I'll shift, right click, push them over there. All I need are the frequencies, so I'll just simply hit OK. So here what we're looking for is <coughs> what the frequencies are because we want to do a before and after. We're going to be changing these variables into the same variable. So if we make a mistake, um, it, can, it can cause a lot of problems. Um, so we want to make sure we get it right the first time. So our frequency table tells us what our frequencies are. We're going to double check these in the end. So we've got all those. Now, the second step is to recode the variable into the same variable. So how do you do that? You go to transform, click it, you hit recode into same variable. And now again, we want to do that. Uh, click the top one, go all the way down, include as many as you want for this one. You only want to change the ones that use the same exact scale. So if they change it all, uh, then you want to do them one by one. But in this case, they use the same scale. We are going to click on old and new variables. So our old variable was a one. We now want that to be a five. So we put the old value right here. We put the new value right here. And we simply click add. 
we have a value of 2 that we want to change into a 4. We hit do add. 3 is going to stay 3, but we're still going to add it in there. Um, 4 is going to be a 2, and a 5 is going to be a 1. Okay, so now we want to double check 1 to 5, 2 to 4, 3 to 3, 4 to 2, 5 to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got them all done. I mean, in case you're wondering, um, the rest of these are used if you're trying to merge variables together. And I'll talk to you about that in recoding into different variables because you don't want to merge any of the answers together unless you recode it into a brand new variable. So for now, we're only going to use it to recode this particular uh, variable. Do continue. And then we're simply going to hit OK. So as you can tell, we don't know if we did it right or not. So we have all of our, our frequencies from earlier. So what we need to do now is do the same frequencies. Oh, wait, I forgot a step. Before we look at those frequencies, what we need to do is change these labels. So each one of these labels, um, We've changed the number, what the number means, but we haven't changed what the label means. So if we, um, if we don't change the labels, we're going to have the right number on the wrong item. So one would actually equal not important at all, but it'll tell us it's extremely important. So we need to change this. So um, we need extremely important to be uh, a five. But five is being held, so it won't let us have two fives. So I always just put like a double five and change it. Um, this five needs to become a one, so I change it. Uh, this two needs to become a four, and this four needs to become a two. And then I simply go back and change this and change that. And now we got not at all important, slightly important, moderately important, very important, and extremely important. Okay. Um, and then you simply control C, copy, and paste it. So we've got all those scales. And now we want to uh, double check it with the descriptive statistics. Go to frequencies. We want to run the statistics. And what we're going to see is that our, let's see, oh, there we go, recoded. And so slightly important is a 5 and extremely important is a 27. Is that the case for up here? 5 and 27. So we've got that correct. Uh, the second one is um, not at all important at a 4, extremely important at a 21. 21 and 4, so you got that one. And you go through and you check all of them um, just to double check to make sure that you um, changed the variable correctly. So that's it on how to recode into the same variable. Um, it was a four step process. You did the frequency, you recoded the variable, you changed the label, and then you did the frequency again to double check your data. And that's all that we have for today on recoding into the same variable. I hope you have a great day. Bye.